from a disease classification point of view, the word emphysema is pretty much interchangeably used with the disease called chronic obstructive lung disease. From a, a histologic description point of view, the word emphysema is pretty much synonymous uh, of a lung in which the alveoli are a lot bigger than they should be because the walls between them have ruptured. Uh, and if you could imagine that, let's say, this area here has about normal sized alveoli, but as you go more towards the periphery, you can see that a lot of these alveoli have decided to rupture and tear down their walls and become one big room like this. And functionally, it's very easy to understand why this is happening. Because if there is a obstruction, perhaps due to chronic inflammation of the bronchi that feed these alveoli, then the expiratory pressures are greater and with time, these little alveoli rupture if they have to feed air into these bronchi, which are chronically uh, narrowed or obstructed on inflammation. So this is emphysema from either point of view. Um, and do I really want to say more than that? I think from a histopathology point of view, to just understand when you see uh, alveoli that are generally bigger than they should be. Sometimes they're bigger than just, you know, five or six alveoli thick. Sometimes they're as big as your thumb. Sometimes they're as big as your fist. And when that happens, it forms large blebs along the pleural surface. And if this bleb ruptures, for example, you then have direct air between the uh, pulmonary alveoli and the pleural space. So pneumothorax can happen when an emphysematous bleb uh, ruptures. Another thing that you should know that emphysema from a disease classification point of view or chronic obstructive uh, pulmonary disease point of view is uh, associated with uh, frequent infections as well, both as a cause as well as a consequence. In other words, Chronic bronchial inflammation sustained due to any reason will eventually cause emphysematous changes. In addition, once you have an emphysematous lung, these bronchi uh, become more and more chronically and acutely and chronically inflamed and are at high risk for pneumonia. And that's why uh, people with chronic lung disease or emphysema frequently have to be uh, treated for pneumonia. Uh, if you look at uh, most of the uh, remaining residual alveoli, however, uh, they're kind of nice from a histologic point of view because they have uh, what they're supposed to have in type 1 pneumocytes, type 2 pneumocytes, macrophages, capillaries, and uh, not very much by way of congestion. You know, these basically are nice little uh, strands of tissue in which uh, capillary spaces do not appear to predominate. Thank you very much.